In Lebanon, uh, yesterday afternoon, out of the blue, thousands of pagers uh, exploded simultaneously. This happened uh, in areas of Beirut, also in Syria. The targets all appear to have been connected to the Hezbollah uh, uh, militant group. No one has claimed responsibility, but Lebanon is accusing Israel. American officials say that Israel notified them of this. Israel is the obvious uh, suspect here. Israel and Lebanon have been fighting for almost a year now, uh, cross-border fighting almost every day. In, and in recent weeks, Israel has sent a number of signals that its patience was running out. This fighting has displaced tens of thousands of Israelis from their homes in northern Israel, also on the Lebanese side. But Israeli officials have made it clear that their patience is running out. So there is strong evidence that Israel is somehow connected to this incident. Uh, no one is saying publicly who's behind it, but Israel certainly has the uh, expertise to do something like this. Uh, its Mossad uh, spy agency is known for daring operations behind enemy lines. Uh, it has strong intelligence capabilities as well as strong technological capabilities. Uh, what experts are saying is that this shipment of pagers most likely uh, was targeted before it was delivered. Somebody in the supply chain managed uh, to get to these pagers and rig them with very small explosives before they were sent uh, to Hezbollah. So that would require a party capable of infiltrating Hezbollah, knowing who's involved in these shipments and knowing that these pagers were going to be delivered to Hezbollah operatives. The pagers were branded uh, by a uh, Taiwanese uh, manufacturer of pagers. That company, Gold Apollo, says it didn't actually make them. It used a contractor uh, located in Hungary. That contractor, known as BAC uh, Consulting, is a very uh, secretive uh, company. It appears to be a shell company. Uh, we've actually checked out their offices, and uh, it is just a sm located in a small uh, residential area with no, uh, no obvious uh, employees there. So this appears to be some sort of shell company, a front for a sophisticated spy operation. All of the sides are evaluating and analyzing what happened uh, uh, so far. Hezbollah needs to figure out uh, how it was infiltrated. It is still assessing the damage uh, that was inflicted upon it, and then it will decide whether it's going to respond with force to Israel. That would be a risky move, uh, given uh, all of the recent Israeli threats. In the meantime, Israel is, is keeping quiet, but it has begun moving more troops to its northern border with uh, Lebanon. Uh, officials are saying that the 98th uh, Division, this is a division that has been busy in recent months fighting in Gaza, is now being moved up to the northern border. This is a, a very uh, powerful uh, division in the military uh, with armored uh, forces, with infantry and uh, commando units.